All right, well, it is 1030 on the dot, and so we are going to go ahead and get started. Um, my name is Walker Talbert, and I currently serve as one of our Associate Directors of Admissions Counseling within the Office of Undergraduate Admissions. Um, first and foremost, thank you for being here today. I'm really excited for you to have the opportunity to hear from some of our friends in the business school. They're going to tell you about all the wonderful things that they offer and they're doing. Um, so at this time, I will go ahead and turn it over to them. Hi, students. My name is Krista Howell, and I'm the Assistant Dean here in the business school. And we have um, several people that are academic advisors and students are on the chat. So as we're going through this presentation, you're welcome to put questions in the chat um, and uh, they will try to answer those uh, as we go along. First of all, I'm going to be one of your instructors in the business school, your very first professors uh, when you get here. I teach a business 1101 class that basically orients you uh, to Baylor University uh, and to the business school. Now, some of you may know that Baylor was in all of the social media and all of the media uh, this past Monday. And some of you in the chat might want to put what it was about, that we won a national championship with our men's basketball team. And we were super excited about that. Um, and even more excited that the MVP of the, of the whole tournament was Jared Butler, and he is one of our business majors. And the thing that makes Jared special is not just his ability to play basketball, but he is a really strong Christian and he lives out the mission of the business school. And so if you'll see on here, this is the Hank Hammer School of Business Mission, and we are guided by Christian values. And we feel like those are so important that when we built our building in 2015, if you will notice um, in the next picture, you can look over on the right and you can see the pillars that are on there. And you can see those values on the pillars in the atrium when you come in. If you haven't been here to visit the business school yet, um, I'd love to encourage you to come. We have a beautiful facility. But one of the things that I love about the business school is that the building was made for students. And if you look at this picture and you can see the different uh, rooms that are jetting out over the atrium, those are team rooms. So when you go into a business school, you're going to have a lot of group projects and you need a place to meet to be able to and have the technology that you need to develop those presentations. And we have 32 of those um, in our beautiful building. Now, another thing that's very a favorite, of course, is the cafe. We have an Aubon Pond down there. And um, we have the latest technology that you will need uh, in the classroom, which has become very important with COVID because we are actually in person right now, uh, but we are taping all of our classes for those students who are having to be online uh, that couldn't be here. But we're planning to be back face-to-face -face, uh, in the fall uh, for most of our classes. Now, the other thing that is special about the business school is our faculty. And um, if we have any parents on here, uh, you will appreciate the fact that we have faculty that come down to my office who will um, who check on the students. They may have somebody you know, come in and say, uh, this particular student has been doing well and have been attending a lot and now they're not and I'm kind of concerned about them. And so Baylor is just the right size. We have D1 sports, which makes it very exciting, but we also have small class sizes and your faculty are very accessible to you. Every faculty member must have the same number of office hours as they have hours that they teach in class. And so students, what that means to you is that you can go in and get help or just get to know your faculty. And that's one of the things that I love uh, about Baylor. Now parents, I am actually a parent of four Baylor Bears. And I have seen this firsthand how the faculty reach out uh, to even my students. Um, my last one is, is graduating uh, this spring. So, let me turn this over to Amy, and she's going to tell you a little bit more about the majors in the business school. Yes, I'm so glad to be with you here today, and thanks for the opportunity to tell you more about this wonderful place. One of the things that's most exciting for our business students is the fact that they have 14 different BBA majors and tracks to choose from in our business school. Now, this is a lot, particularly, I know we have a lot, especially of juniors on the, on the premiere to the call today. When I began these visits with my own sons, I didn't realize, I thought everybody had 14 majors, but what you're gonna find as you're visiting around that you'll probably see an average of five to six majors. But what's happened is at Baylor, we have some innovative faculty that went out in the global marketplace 
and saw a particular void and came back and created a specialized major in some areas so that our students could specialize in some very targeted ways. So some of these majors you may never have seen before uh, that are unique to Baylor or very rare from around the country. And it's going to give you an opportunity to really have a bullseye of certain things you might wanna do. Whereas our other students might choose one of our other amazing majors that you might see more commonly that are highly regarded at Baylor, like accounting, marketing, management, MIS. So the variety of majors that you have is pretty exciting for our students. We also have two certificates that you can add on to your degree plan. These are certificates to help you boost yourself in a certain area of expertise. And we'll talk a little bit more about that as well. Another exciting thing is it is very common and quite easy for our students to be able to do more than one of these majors. It's not uncommon at all with normal course loads in a four year time frame for our students to be able to choose more than one of these, or they may choose to study something outside the business school and that would be considered a minor. Those take sometimes the same amount of time as a double major, but the ability to really customize your degree plan with more than one major or a major and a minor, very common for all of our students. Then we're also gonna talk in a, in a moment, Dean Howell's gonna tell you about some ways you might even be able to accelerate that even faster and add even more to your degree plan. So at Baylor, you don't need to be in a particular honors program to be able to do as many of these areas of study as you have time for in your four-year time frame. So here's a list of all of the majors we do offer. Um, in the interest of time, we can't go into detail on all of them, but at the end of the session, you're going to see some links where you can sign up to have a more intimate conversation with an advisor and a student. We have them every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central Time. And then we also have sessions on Friday until graduation uh, with a current student that's a senior. So you can sign up for those and we'll hopefully be adding that in the chat as well. So we can go into more depth with you about these majors, but we're gonna give you some program highlights as well. These are the two certificates I mentioned that go along with those other majors and some of our students use them to enhance their degree plan. Probably our most popular one of these two is the Business Analytics Certificate. In recent years, we've seen a, a huge trend of our students needing to be able to manage big data when they get out in the marketplace. So this is a way to really amp up your skills in that area and add this on to your degree plan. And in addition, we have a certificate for students that might be interested in going into the energy sector. Some program highlights, we'll just touch on a few of them. Uh, our accounting program has long been a flagship program at Baylor for as long as I can remember, which is a long time. I've been advising for 11 years and attended Baylor a long time ago, and it has been consistently a top ranked program in the nation and in Texas. We found out last week that once again, we were number one in CPA pass rates and success rate in Texas uh, for those taking the CPA exams at their first attempt. So there's really no better place in Texas to get prepared as an accountant. Um, and we've also been in the top 10 in the nation in those uh, rankings uh, since I've been advising. We have a five-year program for these students if they choose to stay and they can graduate with a BBA and a master's degree uh, in a short five-year time frame. And again, we'll mention how sometimes that could even happen maybe a little bit faster. Our entrepreneurship program has long been another one that we get lots of questions about. It has consistently been ranked over many years in the top 10 in the country by Entrepreneurship Magazine, Princeton Review, U.S. News and World Report. And I find that this really is probably because of the depth of programming that they've been able to add to this to give our students some real hands-on experiences in entrepreneurship. It's not a new thing at Baylor. We've been teaching entrepreneurs for over 40 years. And so they've had an opportunity to really grow that programming. We have some that might be considered true entrepreneurs that take part in our new venture program, which is a competition that's nationwide where college students come from all over the country to compete for startup money. And they've given away millions of dollars over the years. And we have a special class for our students to prepare for that competition. But then the thing that I find most interesting about this major is the diversity of students within it. We also have students that want to go home and maybe run a family business. 
there are special electives for them to prepare them for that type of entrepreneurship. And also, we are really true to our faith base and our Christian foundation here at Baylor. And the business school is really no exception. So we find we have a lot of students that really want to go out and find a way to develop business in underrepresented or uh, underdeveloped parts of our own country or around the world. So we have social entrepreneurship classes for those students. So the diversity of students in this major is really astounding to me. It's a very popular second major at Baylor. As I mentioned, not very difficult to do that. And I think students see that if they can see how business works on that small scale, they know throughout their career they can really use that and scale it in so many different ways and in a corporate setting as well. We are the only place in the country or, or that you can study sports marketing. Uh, within our marketing major, we have a special track for students that want to break into a very difficult industry, the sports industry. And so these students will be prepared in sales and in data analytics, choosing which track they like to break into the NFL, MLB, NBA systems, um, pro hockey, premier uh, soccer. Again, not a new program at Baylor. The first graduating class for this group was in 06. And so our networks around the country are really deeply rooted in all the different franchises. So it's an excellent opportunity for students that are interested in breaking into that difficult industry. And finally, our professional selling program, also within our marketing department, is one that has been highly acclaimed and highly regarded for many years. Again, not a new program, over 20, 25 years old about. And this program is so special because it trains students at a undergraduate level in ways that they might normally be trained in a corporate setting to take over large business to business sales accounts and relationships. So students that might not normally in another setting be able to break into some of those large account responsibilities are able to be uh, trained and recruited very heavily to take over those amazing opportunities. So this major is uh, application based only and their placement has been at 100%, usually with multiple offers over many years. So that just kind of gives you a little taste of some of the things that you might find in the business school. And now Dean Howell is going to tell you again a little bit about how you might be able to do some more of these things in a more unique or accelerated way. So we have two basically honors programs within the business school. We, the Baylor Business Fellows, we have had for a while. And it is for students who are, you know, very high ability and are interested in business, but also an area outside of the business school. So they may want to do a science type of major along with business or foreign language or a math type of major. And so those are the types of students who would be interested in the Baylor Business Fellows Program. We are very excited that starting this fall, we will have our first class of Hank Emmer Scholars coming in. We saw a need for another honors program, and these are students who are interested in more business. They would like to do maybe three majors within the business school. They're following more of the traditional BBA degree program, but they are accelerated into the business school in that, that they start their major earlier. And so they are coming in uh, as a Hank Emmer Scholar, their freshman year, immediately into the business school, and then they would start into their major, their sophomore year uh, versus their junior year. So we obviously have a, a normal pre-business program as well uh, for students, but these are two of our high ability honors types programs. Now students, your parents will never be happier than when you have a job after you graduate from college. And so we have a Baylor University Career Center that will help you do that. We have a career center for the entire university, but also within the business school, we have our own career management office that just helps our business students. We have two career classes that are taught and are required uh, for our BBA students. So one is their sophomore year and one is their junior year. It's going to help you get an internship. It's gonna help you learn how to interview um, and then of course be placed in a job. And so we get you on LinkedIn, uh, we get you on Handshake, which is a platform that we have here uh, for interviewing um, here at, on campus. 
we have more interview slots than we have students to fill the slots. That's how many companies come to interview our students. And so on this next slide, it shows you a small sampling of the companies that do come. So you see KPMG for our accounting majors. Uh, Amy talked about the S3 program and you see the San Antonio Spurs on here. So professional sports teams come and hire them. But this is just a small group. They love to hire Baylor business students. We actually have a faculty member who comes into the class that I teach, Business 1101, and he used to be a recruiter. Um, and he went to, around to all different colleges and he said they loved hiring Baylor business students. A lot of times just because of the ethics and the background that they have um, coming out of the business school. So I'm going to turn this back over to Amy and students, if you want to broaden your horizons, we're going to tell you a little bit about the study abroad and mission programs that we have. Right. I know all of you guys, especially after being uh, sheltering in place for a while, are pretty much thinking how exciting some study abroad opportunities might be. And I think if you were on a tour at Baylor, I've heard the tour guides say that you could go anywhere but the North Pole. And really, it's actually true just about true. So we have a global engagement office that helps our students when they want to study abroad and a great number of students do. There's hundreds of different options. I've only listed a few on here that are very popular with some of our business students that really want to specifically go abroad and perhaps study business in another country. And so these are just a small, this is a small sampling of some that our students have taken advantage of over the last many years and had wonderful experiences been able to expand their global understanding in a really special way. You'll also see on the right side, some mission trips that are discipline specific is what we call them here in the business school. And as I mentioned earlier, we're very true to our faith foundation here. And we have a lot of business students that want to use the skills that they've learned here in Baylor business to go out in a missional way around the world or even in our own country. And so a lot of these trips you're going and you're using your business skills to help maybe ministries or people in other countries. This one picture uh, is a trip that we took to Zambia where we did a lot of business consulting with recent graduates that didn't have parents and they needed to know how to get jobs or write a business plan or entrepreneurship students let out and cut that and marketing students were teaching customer service. So it really is probably a pretty unique and exciting opportunity that may you may not find everywhere else to be able to go out and use your business skills that you've learned in a way to really um, further the God's kingdom and, and, and increase your own skills too. So I also want to just mention briefly, we have a living and learning center here at Baylor for our business students. And this is a way that you can live with a smaller group of students that maybe are business minded, entrepreneurially minded in Brooks Flats, lovely residence hall. I hope you get to look at it. And so if you think you'd like to maybe be a part of a smaller community of business students, from right when you arrive at Baylor, you might want to look at this opportunity that we have for some of our students. Now, this is a list of all the links that you can use to get more information because our time with you is so short and we'd love to tell you more. That first link at the top is how you can sign up uh, for one of our more smaller events um, that we hold each week. And we hope we'll get a chance to talk to you in more depth at one of those, and then you can find out more information about Hank and Scholars, Baylor Business Fellows, or any additional questions you might have from these links. Speaking of our virtual experiences, I have a student on with us today, one of our student ambassadors. It's a senior who's about to graduate. Her name is Whitney Johnson. And Whitney, if you wouldn't mind coming on screen for a minute and sharing with us a little bit about yourself and why you have chosen Baylor and how you think it might have prepared you for graduation, which is a sh short time away. Hi, Amy, and uh, hi, you all. My name is Whitney Johnson. I am a senior here at Baylor in the business school. I'm a double major in professional selling and management, originally from Houston, Texas. So I chose Baylor and Baylor Business specifically because I was looking for programs that really would help me grow personally, professionally, and in my faith. And I have felt that I've been able to do that because um, Baylor is truly a Baylor family and they've helped me and invested in myself and in my education and helped me to grow. 
And I would say that in deciding, you know, sometimes it's nerve wracking to decide like, what's your major going to be or how to um, navigate the business school, but everyone's here to help from the students that I have met at Baylor and as well as the academic advising office and your professors. And so it's a really great environment here at Baylor. Thank you, Whitney. We're going to miss her so much in a few weeks. Well, we have a few minutes left, and I think Dean Howell's been looking at the chat. Um, we've had our advisors working hard on some of those questions, but are there any, Dean Howell, that you want to address before we're out of time? Yeah, one of them that um, is basically as broad uh, that I want to talk about is admission to the business school. Mm -hmm. So we have three different ways to be admitted to the business school. Any student that is accepted to Baylor can start in the business school. So there's not a separate application at that time. So everyone can start as a pre-business student. Our two high ability programs are, are ad, um, admitted directly in to the business school their freshman year. So the Baylor Business Fellows, they start right into Baylor Business Fellows as a freshman. Hank Hammer Scholars, they start as Hank Hammer Scholars and then are admitted into a major their sophomore year. The remainder of the students um, and the majority of them um, come in as a pre-business student and they take business classes their, uh, their freshman and sophomore year along with calculus and English and they, um, they must have a 3.0 GPA to then be admit in certain grades in those courses to be admitted to the business school. I like the fact that Baylor admits those students based on their college performance versus their high school performance. But you are taking courses in the business school. And one of the questions that was on here was about the size of the classes. We only have two classes. Uh, well, that's not true. We have um, the, the smaller classes we mostly have smaller classes. The larger classes are the intro classes, and those are because we have speakers that are coming in. And so um, the one, the class that I teach is going to have is going to be a larger class, but we do it does have a small feel to it. We use discussion boards to be able to uh, for the students to get to know each other. Uh, we walk around and talk to the students, the professors do that are in there, and um, to be able to get to know them as well. And so we, I, I don't, I think if you ask one of our students, it doesn't feel like a large class to them. I feel like they do feel like they know their professors and they know each other. But that's the different ways that you can be um, admitted to the business school. Anything else in the chat, Dean Howell, that you feel like might need to be addressed? They asked about test optional and we, um, Baylor, this is the first year that we were test optional. And so I, they are continuing that uh, for the next fall and, um, and, and possibly, you know, in the, in the future after that. Obviously we started it um, because of COVID, but um, so we are test optional, but we also do have students who uh, obviously it's about 50-50 people who have test scores and those who are choosing to come in test optional. For the high ability programs, uh, the Baylor Business Fellows do, uh, do still require that the students have test scores. Um, Hank Hammer Scholars, um, you can either have test scores or you can qualify through your transcript, your high school transcript and admissions um, looks at those and basically scores those to be able to, to offer invitations to those honors programs. Let's try to see if there's anything um, you do not have to take a foreign language in the business school. We do, you know, encourage that students take foreign language, but we also understand that there, that's not, you know, it doesn't fit with everybody's goals. And so we do have other classes that the students can take if they choose not to do foreign language. And those are more in the communications area and the writing area. So um, if you are very good at foreign language and you want to take it, you certainly can, and it will uh, fulfill one of the requirements for the BBA degree, but you also have an option to not do a foreign language in the business school. Right. I also see some questions about internships. Um, most of our students will do those the summer before their senior year uh, and all over the country. Handshake is a nationwide tool that we use. And so you'll find that that's something that you can filter and uh, look for your job opportunities all across the country. 
we also, if we still have another minute, we're probably going to be cut off here pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, I think that's going to be that's going to be it for us. Um, just okay. to allow us to get up and running with other sessions. Um, but you guys have had so many great questions, and thank you to all of our colleagues in the business school for answering um, all of these questions. And again, um, they've listed lots of different resources for y'all to follow up with them. So I encourage you to all reach out um, with those necessary avenues to get your questions answered. Um, and thank you very much for your time today. We really appreciate it. Sick and bears.